The next topic that came up on 2016 was this one, and this was a nice question. They're always, always nice questions, these ones. And it's trapezium rule, which is a sort of form of integration or estimating integration. <clears throat> so um, the first mark is usually just for substituting in a value, in this case 1, into this um, equation here, and getting the corresponding value of y. Usually it will lie somewhere between these two here, so you know whether or not you've made a mistake. So 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 is going to be 0, 2 to the power of 0 is going to be 1, so 8 minus 1 gives us 7. Nice and easy for first mark. Right, now use the trapezium rule, rule the values of y in the computer table to find an approximate value for this. So what we do for the trapezium rule, um, in the um, formula book it says half h um, squiggly brackets y0 plus yn plus two lots of y1 plus y2 plus dot 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 yn minus one, so it should be n minus one then. another squiggly bracket. Now, that's okay. If you can understand that, that's absolutely fantastic. What I think it's easier to do, though, is if you've done enough revision to understand what this means. So, this bit here is going to be the middle values. So, we're going to add up the middle values, times them by 2. That's the first thing we do. So, on our calculators, we do 7 plus 6 plus 4. And whatever that is, we times it by 2. So, once we've done that, we then add the first and the last term, and that's this here. That's the first, that's the last. So we add on 7.5 and 0. And then once we've done all of that, we deal with this half, half h, which is at the front. Now that means times it by a half and times it by h. Now h is just what it goes up in, what this gap is here. And that's times by 1. So if you do that, the answer that we get is uh, 20... 0.75 and that's how to find uh, that's how to use trapezium rule so again you can double check that on your calculator so it's the middle values add them up double them once you've done that add on the first and the last values once you've done that get your grand total times it by a half and times it by what it goes up in each time <clears throat> and then we get 20.75 uh, 20 um, for our value okay so if we have a look down the bottom then it says, curve 1 shows a sketch with this. The curve meets the x-axis at point A and the y-axis at point B. The region R, shown in the shaded figure 1, is bounded by the curve C and the straight line through A and B. Use your answer to part B to find an approximate value for the value of R. So what we've done here, what this 20.75 is, now this last part is the understanding thing. So we've, we forgot about this line here. So the first part of the question was, working out the total area here, underneath the curve. So underneath this curve here, and work that out to be 20.75. So now what we need to do is we need to work out what the area of this triangle is, and we need to subtract it away from the 20.75. So we know that this is between 0 and 4, and so we need to know what the height of this triangle is. Now the height is the y value when x is 0. So when x is 0, the y value is 7.5. So the area of this triangle is 7.5 times by 4 divided by 2, which equals 15. So if the area of the triangle is 15, the area underneath this curve is 20.75. We're going to do 20.75, take away 15, and we end up with 5.75. That's the answer to that one. Now, this didn't appear on the 2015 paper, so we're going to go straight back and do the 2014 paper. So again, what we've got here is we've got a curve with this equation here, and a finite region. The reason that I call it finite is because if they said and the region after 2, that would just go on forever, and that would be an infinite or infinite. But they're looking for the finite region, so the actual region which we can measure in between 1 and 2. So the table below shows corresponding values for x and y for this thing here. To complete the table above, given the missing value of y to three decimal places. So again, just like the previous question, what we do for the first one is we just substitute in 1.25 into our equation here. And doing so gives us 1.601. Just be careful there with your rounding. 
And then it says use the trapezium rule with all the values to work out the approximate value for the area of R to two decimal places. So, and um, what I would recommend, because this question is so easy and so quick, I would, what I've done is I chucked this into my calculator twice and I got 1.601 at the same time. Because you don't want to be chucking away any marks on this, so make sure you double check your answers. So, again, what we do now is we add up the middle values. So it's going to be the middle times by 2. And then put in the first plus the last. And then I get my big total there. And then I times that by half, and then I times it by H. Now H is what it's going up in. So 1 to 1.25 to 1.5 to 1.75, it's going up in 0.25. So you put all that into your calculator. So 1.601 plus 1.803 plus 1, sorry, 2.016. Add those together, double it. Add the first one, add the last one, times by half, times by 0 0.25, and hopefully we get the correct answer. And again, doing that twice in your calculator just to make sure that you get the correct values, you get 1.81 if we've done it correctly. So that's how to do um, all these questions based on the trapezium rule. Should be nice and easy marks, those ones.